This is a quick introduction to the Prince 2 for Trello Chrome extension. So if I click on here, you can get a bit more information. This is the configuration panel. And here we have some settings for the colors we use for the hours here. And also whether I want to display the hours in days and hours or just hours. I've chosen hours to do that. So let me give you a small overview of the project, the example project, which is public, so you can access this. You see here, I've divided it into different lists. So we have startup initiation documents, which are just documents itself. Then we have what we call their product breakdown structure. And here I'm just using a product list. And this is in planning. So that's stage one for Prince 2. Then for stage two, we've already moved some of these items over to stage two. So stage two has started. Then we have the end of stage boundary. And I have some example documents for the register and log file are here. And I even have closing a project documents here. Okay, but I can show you that later as well. So if we go back here, let's say I show you the information in each of these. So for example, here I have WordPress theme. So if I click on here, I can see that here I've got done and accepted. So let me show you what this means. So done is about the document. So the document requirements, that's either in development or complete. So once it's done, that means the document is complete and has been approved, the requirements document, and it includes the quality criteria as well. Then the, the next label is to do with the product itself once it goes into development. And then it has three different stages. So it has in development to quality check. And if after quality check and, and accept it, therefore we have product accepted. So at the end, then we should end up with two green um, labels if a product is fully complete. So if the document has been approved and that the product, final product has been accepted. So then I will click here on that product. And if we click here, we have we have the estimated hours and the consumed hours. So that's the 10 and nine there. So if we type in, let's say 10 here, you'll see that it will change here as well. So I shut this down or click on apply and you see it changes here. And the M is for the prioritization. So that means it's a must, that's a must. And we have some should as well, S for should. That's to do with the Moscow prioritization technique. Then you see them with the hours. So the hours are filled in for everybody here. And it does a total here for stage two, but it also does a total for the whole project as well. So that's quite an easy way to get an overview on the total hours for the whole project. Okay, now we can look at the product requirements. So if we're typing up a product description, a requirements document, this is the information that you, you need. You don't really need much more than this, well, depending on what you're writing. So we have the purpose, the composition, so the parts of the, of the product, and then most important here, we have the quality criteria. So the developer will focus on this and the person checking the product before it's accepted will also make sure all of these are done. And if they are done, then the product can be accepted. That's how it works. The other labels then are if there's a big, something important you want to focus on or if something is an issue. Okay, so that's an overview of all the information that's in a product. So let's say after stage two, we do the end stage report. So let's click on this. And this is a simple example of an end stage report. So we have the project plan, still on target for two months. The business case is still valid. The risks and issues are under control. The project management team is fine. And lessons, we have one lesson included here. So that's a quick overview of, of this. Now let's say we want to do our planning for stage three. So that was stage two, so stage three. So it's quite easy with Trello. We just actually drag the items over like so. And then at the top, it says the amount of hours that we have. If nobody has been assigned to it already, then we can click assigned to them. And then I've clicked on these already as starting. So for example, the labels I've put in in development already. Okay, so those two are assigned. So now let's say you have a visual overview on what the project is or the status of the project. So it's very clean. So here you can see these have all been passed and accepted. 
Here we've done stage of boundary. And here from this products, we're in stage three, two products are in development. And as they are tested and accepted, then there'll be two green labels here. So I suggest you click on some of these items yourself. So for example, in the risk register, there are some risks entered here already. And we use a checklist uh, division for high risk, medium risks, and low risks. If you go back here, you will see the business case. If I click on here, and then you can see the different versions of the business case as well. So here I'm using a Google Sheet to make it easier to show this. So here we have the outline business case, and then we have the business case at different places during the project. So you can see minor changes can be made. So that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you, except for one more item, is we have the possibility to export all of this data or header data to an Excel file, because depending on the format, you may would like to share this in an Excel format. So if I click on here, I get this information here. So here we have the ID, which is taken from the product itself. You see here before the colon, we have number 13. That's it here. Then we have the product title. And actually, these are linked to the cards. It's a URL. So if I click on this, it will actually open the card in Trello, which is quite nice. Then we have the priority. So it turns the S and the M into should and must. Then the different stage of the timeline of the project. So for example, here I have stage three. Here I have st the stage boundary, stage two, and stage one. That's also represented here in the sheet. Then we have the hours, the consumed and the estimated, and the total is added down here. Then the document, the status of the document, that's this green label here. That's also red. Then the product status. So for example, these two are in development. That's shown as here. Then who's assigned as well, the person who's assigned to the product. That's also listed here. And if we have a due date entered, that's also there. So that's a quick overview on this Prince 2 Chrome extension for Trello. So I hope you, you like it. Just download it and play with it. And of course, uh, you can view this Trello board as well online. Just go to Google and type in YouTube Driving School Trello and you will find it. Okay, so thanks for watching and yeah, give me your feedback. Thank you. Bye-bye.